Hey guys, so I'm back with another candle review, and this time around it's on the 14.5 ounce three wig Sangria Berry Freeze candle from Bath and Body Works, part of the Pop Tales collection. Um, seems to be a regular thing now for it there to be sort of like a good drink line after the summer SAS. Similar to last year's summer sips, this year we have Pop Tales. And so, yeah, let me get right into it. Um, this candle I originally thought was going to be sparkling berry fizz which was pretty much a repackage of champagne toast which is that new year's holiday scent that comes out in the past few years and I thought it was pretty much the same thing so I was just like whatever I didn't really care about it and I was gonna leave it on the shelf but you know me with my Bath and Body Works addiction. I pretty much end up collecting or picking up every candle in the collection to put into my collection anyway. So you know I w went ahead and picked it up anyways. I'm actually glad I did because I'm pleasantly surprised and really enjoying this candle. So the notes on this read, indulge in a fruit-filled blend of strawberries, boysenberries, and sparkling white wine. And dissecting those notes, do I really get strawberries? Not really. It's not at all a strawberry that you get from like a fresh pig strawberries or strawberry rhubarb marmalade or white strawberry or wild strawberry excuse me nothing like that really I don't yeah I really don't know if I get a strawberry from it um boys and berries yeah it's just sort of like a generic blackberry almost blueberry kind of berry scent is definitely in there and white wine uh there's something that makes it sort of juicy and I guess, yeah, I guess wine would be in this because this pretty much smells like grape to me and wine is made from grapes. So I guess there is wine in here. Um, I wouldn't really list it as wine though. I would list it as just grapes because I think the, um, it's like a very artificial candied grape scent, which I really like. Um, it's not artificial in a bad way. It's sort of a grape that you would expect to be in a drink. Um, and so I guess wine is sort of in there, but I think I would refer to it as grapes rather than wine. Um, but yes, um, and so I thought this was going to be a repackage of Sparkling Berry Fizz and Champagne Toast, but it isn't. It's so much better than that, and I think this might be a genuinely new scent. Uh, pretty much what I get from this is a sour grape soda scent, and I love that. It's so tart, it's pretty sour, and it's that juicy, artificial candied grape scent. Um, if you've ever had the... I think it was a limited edition release um, or flavor of Mountain Dew that was called Mountain Dew Pitch Black. It came out like some some Halloween ago um, and that also came out on a following Halloween that was called like Pitch Black 2. It was the same flavor. It's basically Mountain Dew mixed with sour grape. And this is what it smells like. It smells like sour grape soda and I love it. It's so tart. It's so juicy and it's just awesome. I was not expecting to like this as much as I do. Um, comparing it to past scents because, you know, Bath and Body Works coming out with a new scent is so shocking. It's just like, I'm always in disbelief that I have to go into my collection and compare it to anything that it could have possibly been. It's not pink sangria comparing it to other sangria related scents. Um, that's a lot more citrusy and sort of effervescent. Um, cherry blossom sangria, not at all. That's just a very unscented cherry smell. Pomegranate sangria slash wine down slash sun-drenched vineyard. Um, no, because that was basically a cranberry woods, which is basically cranberry and a ton of cinnamon and basically a fall scent. So it's not that either. The closest thing this is to is indeed sparkling berry fizz, but it isn't. And obviously close to champagne toast as well. Champagne toast is a lot more mellow and flat. There isn't that sourness at all in it. And there really isn't much of an effervescent tartness to champagne toast either. It's sort of this like flat sort of candy starburst kind of scent. Um... But yeah, it's not champagne toast either. So I think this might actually be genuinely new. The closest thing is definitely sparkling berry fizz. But it's like you added a sour grape soda to that and sort of mixed it together. And that's what sangria berry freeze is. And I really, really enjoy it. Um, if this was called like something grape something I would be like okay totally be on board with that and I would be convinced that it was a grape scent. So yeah, the wine is sort of misleading because it definitely is a sour grape scent but I wouldn't call it wine. Uh, that's pretty much what it smells like. I really enjoy it. Um, as for the burn and performance of it, um, burns great. Nice high flames. This is like a third day burn. Um, on the second day, I had a burning for like seven hours, which is a very um, 
irregularly long time for me to burn candles. But um, yeah, it's been burning fine. High flames, sturdy wicks all around. Um, as for the actual strength itself, the first and second days were a lot stronger than it is right now on the third day burn. It might have been because on the second day, I had it burning for like seven hours that maybe the oils got worn out, that it wasn't quite as strong. But the first and second day, I would say it was definitely above medium in sort of the six and seven range from a scale of one to ten. Um, on the third day, it sort of waned and it went more down to a medium to below medium into like sort of a four five kind of range just right there in the middle it wasn't super strong you could smell it when you're like around it and walking by it whereas the first day where it was stronger you could smell it in the whole living room so the strength on it sort of changed but whatever um as for the whole three wit three layer action that's going on with this candle so this one is one of those that has the three colors it goes from like a medium purple to a medium blue to a really dark purple slash indigo i guess you could say which is what the color is on the unburned section that you see right there um it's it's sort of cool it basically when it's cool you see the three colors when it burns you really can't tell what color is burning because all three purples are pretty dark and they burn a dark color anyway so you can't really tell um but when it cools it goes right back to those same three colors and it's really cool like it unless you're mixing the wax with a chopstick or whatever and purposely trying to like mix the colors in um it yeah, it goes right back to what it was cold. The sort of amount of color that it is, like the proportions or the ratio sort of changes. So when this actually cooled, um, it the sort of the dark part that you see that is liquefied turned back to the medium blue, even though there was more of the darker purple underneath it left. So they do sort of mix colors, but you don't really see it. It just becomes that color that it was before. Sort of hard to describe, but yeah, basically it burns... Um, as one color as you can see there but then when it cools it'll pretty much go back to the same three colors that it was so that's really cool I like how they did that um strangely this one's not online I guess because this one was only available in like they only made it in a three layer one and for some reason the online ones don't have three layers in them which is really strange so it looks like this just is not even online so um yeah if it's in your store I would pick it up um I really enjoy the scent um, if you like sour grape soda, definitely check it out. Um, adequate strength and performance on it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Definitely interested in seeing if anyone's burned this already and whether or not they thought it was a direct repackage of something because I couldn't exactly pin this to an existing scent. Like this exact formula of the sour grape plus sparkling berry fizzness. I don't think it exists. So I'd be really interested in seeing if anyone does think that it exists in some kind of repackaged um, form. And that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.